so for this video, we're going to be learning how to tie a tie. At home, if you do not have access to a tie, please feel free to use a scarf or ribbon or anything to kind of help you follow along. First thing with our tie is we're going to talk about this side here that has a seam. You can see right there it's sewn together. And then there's a side here that is completely flat. Okay, so the seam is here where it's sewn together and then where it's flat. First thing you want to do is you want to take your tie and you want to put the seam towards your neck. If you have a collared shirt, you obviously want to lift your collar up so that it's flat up against the back of the shirt. Then for the rest of the video, I'll refer to the wide side of your tie, which is this the wide side, and this is the skinny. See how it's skinny. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your wide, and you're going to make sure it's twice as long as your skinny. So you're going to kind of pull on here until it gets to about twice as long. Then I'm going to take the wide part of my tie, and I'm going to go over my skinny just like this, almost like I'm creating an X. Then I'm going to keep the skinny still, and I'm going to wrap the wide part of my tie around the skinny. You'll see here that it creates these nice two loops, which you don't want to do. You don't want to take the wide part of your tie and kind of just haphazardly wrap it and throw it around the skinny. You can see right there how it gets kind of twisted and wrinkly. It does not look nice. All right, so instead, one more time, I'm going to take the wide part of my tie, put it over the skinny, make sure it lays nice and flat, keep the skinny still, and I'm gonna wrap the wide around the skinny so that I have one, two loops. Then I'm gonna find where there's the diamond of the tie, that's the underside here of the wide, and I'm gonna bring that up and under, and I like to think about touching my chin, so I never forget this step, you come up and touch your chin, and then go through that loop. When you come through here, you will see that you have now created this loop. This loop is where the wide part of your tie is going to go under. That's going to create, actually create the knot that you see up in the neck of a tie. So I'm going to pull the wide part down. And now all I need to do is I'm going to hold the skinny and kind of just gently pull, push it up, up towards my neck. And then that's it. I'm done tying a tie. You have the option of putting a nice little tie tack here, or you can take this part of the tie, the skinny part, and kind of tuck it on underneath. There'll be a little bit holder here. Like I said, a tie tack that is always optional to keep you looking professional. Flip it back over, and then I have my tie. Please feel free to rewatch this video, slow it down, pause it, follow along with these steps. Hope this.